Hello, hello, my hustlers. How is everybody this morning? This. I can't see it. Meh. <laughs> That's me. Oops. I'm gonna knock you guys around. Sorry. Um. Alright, so. It says I only have about 29 minutes of space. I'm not going to go that long. We aren't cash stuffing anything today. Uh, since my husband was cut off of overtime, we're really not going to have enough money to cash stuff. Um, and next payday is going to really pose a problem as well because... I don't have any shows planned until the 11th of March. Uh, so I don't even know if we'll have grocery money or anything next week or next payday. I may have to flop some things around to make sure that we do because, you know, eating is important. Um, when I did my menu for the next two weeks, pretty much everything is shopped from my own... Um, pantry and freezer and stuff so we're going to be slim pickings we're going to be almost out of meat uh, after this two weeks so yeah we'll see we may have to do credit card um, as an emergency and then just pay it back off again it is what it is I have a GMC card that I'm paying off. It's a rewards card, so I don't mind using it, but I have to get in the habit of um, using it and paying it off, you know, in small increments, not racking it completely up and then paying it off because that's just dumb, but it's got rewards on it. So with the GMC credit card, I get rewards for GM and then I can either use it to do maintenance on my vehicle or I can use it to pay my car payment so if I can make enough points to get an extra car payment then my plan to pay my car off two years early works faster so I don't mind using it but I have to train myself to use it in small increments and pay it off each month before the interest hits so that I'm not paying interest because that's just dumb okay so and then we're doing another dumb thing today. Um, it's dumb, but it's it's kind of smart. I am going to go buy myself a new freezer, a stand-up freezer. I absolutely loathe my um, chest freezer. I have a huge chest freezer, but I hate it. Um, and with what I'm trying to do, it makes it impossible to organize it and get it the way I need it to get for my business. Um, I need to start pre-making cookie dough and freezing it and you can't really organize it in the deep freezer. Plus, my son-in-law bought a full cow. So at the end of the summer, I think the cow will be ready and I get uh, maybe half of it. I don't know if I get all, a whole half or what, but um, I'll need that stand-up freezer to help organize that a little bit too. Now I do have two refrigerators, so I have those two freezers. And then I have this, the chest freezer, but I, there's just no way I can organize all of that um, really good in a chest freezer. So I'm trading my chest freezer to my son-in-law and my daughter for my portion of the cow so I'm not probably gonna have to come out of pocket on that cow maybe a little bit it depends on how much we decide that chest freezer is worth now I'm pretty sure they're worth about a thousand bucks I'll have to look it up the size that I have um, and then you know half it so if I would have sold it for I don't know I probably would have tried to sell it for about $300 because it's worth it. It's still in really good condition. It works really, really well. So, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, here's the bills. This is what my husband was paid. 
um, which was a blessing because he's not getting any overtime. I think he got a bonus for um, hitting his tier five like he's supposed to. Um, so I didn't put anything extra in the car fund. All I put in there was my car payment. There is extra still in there because I haven't had to get gas since the last time I filled up, which was more than two weeks ago, I think, or exactly two weeks ago. I, I don't remember. Anyway, so the extra that's in there will, for this month and next month, will cover my own star and the, the Wi-Fi that I need to cancel that I haven't canceled and um, the Sirius XM, which I could cancel, but I'm... I really love my Series XM, so I'm not giving that up, and that's okay. We all have our, you know, little things that we don't want to give up. So this is everything that's going to get paid. I have to pay for a show that's coming up, so that's what that is on the 11th. At some point, I'm hoping to have a separate account for my business expenses for such, these such things. It'll probably be a local account so I can deposit money into it and then transfer it into my actual account. Um, but it will be strictly for business purposes other than the depositing and transferring. Just because I want to eventually keep my business money separate from the um, household income simply because I don't want to spend the family money on the business so at some point I gotta keep it separated. So that's the bills that we're paying. And I wanted to show you my debt payoff. Now there are four less papers here because I did manage to pay off four um, of these bills with the tax money. Um, and this is just breaking down, you know, when I make a payment, when the interest hits, um, if we made a purchase, uh, so this will, we will add the purchase that we make today onto this. And, um, so that'll go back up, but I will get it paid off eventually. And here's one of the other debts. And they're, the balances are coming down for the most part, which is good. loan, student loan, which they just transferred my student loan from Great Lakes to somewhere else, so I gotta figure out how to get that swapped over. Okay. And then my PayPal, which when this is done, when I'm paying this off, I'm probably going to get rid of PayPal. Because I signed up for Square, and I like Square much better. So that's that. Uh, I do still have cash in my envelopes. I thought we would, just for shits and giggles, we would count it to see where we're at. I don't think I've, I know I've spent money out of the grocery fund, but none of these other ones I've spent money out of. Well, the pets I did, because uh, we had to buy food. So let's see what they have. And I haven't taken any of them to the vet yet have to do that. I'm hoping to bulk this up a little bit more so I can just get it all done and out of the way and be done for a couple of years. Oh, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 85. So they have 185, which about 60 of it will be gone today because we're going to buy them two more bags of dog food. So hopefully we can get this bulked up and get them to the vet. Um, and also, these, they will be, you know, perfect when I launch them. These, hopefully, will be launching on my Etsy shop. Um, I did open a, shop, a Shopify account as well, so I may be saying goodbye to Etsy, depending on how well Shopify goes, but for right now, I'll have both. But these will be launched on both sites, and when I get my Shopify link set up, I will start um, putting it down below in the description. So, um, these little cow 
envelopes will be um, launching hopefully today I'll make a set and put them on today if I can find another couple of boxes today I will also launch a matching hundred envelope challenge maybe I'll just bundle it all together maybe I'll do a big bundle and a little bundle uh, my sister suggested that I put those up because I was just going to be selfish and keep those for myself but um, she said I bet you these would sell faster than any other because these are custom you won't find these anywhere else because I created these myself um, and maybe I'll go and do some more uh, creations it's not everybody's into the farm stuff so you know maybe I'll make something else but okay groceries 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 80 92 5 10 11 12 13 now I did make some sales because we have been spending out of this quite a bit when we go and need things but I have made probably about a hundred dollars worth of sales or more um, I've made sales and my son's made sales he sells stuff at school for me all the time he gets cut obviously because that would be wrong um, so we actually have way more money in there than we should have because we've spent quite a bit of it the other day I think I only had a little over a hundred but then I've made money so that's blessing um, the emergency fund is actually the gas fund for some reason I didn't make a gas envelope so and I haven't spent anything out of it so it should still be a hundred dollars 20 40 60 80 100 um, and I may not even spend any today either because we have to drive the bigger car to Chillicothe to get our freezer the Yukon XL and then the clothing fund should still have its hundred because we still haven't bought my husband his uh, jeans and my son's gonna need some underpants he doesn't have enough to last him um, for more than a few days and sometimes I go a couple of weeks without doing laundry because I get hyper focused on doing a show so one two three four five yeah, hundred dollars in the clothing fund but this will probably get some of this will probably get spent today um, because we need to get my husband his jeans and my son his undie pants. So that's that. Money, money, money. And we're doing better about, you know, spending it. I'm trying to forget that it exists so that I don't just spend it whenever I feel like I need to go shopping. Um, so here's the menu for the next two weeks. And like I said, I am trying to, um, shop with what I've got in my house and then just buy the stuff that we actually need. The problem is we always need a ton of stuff because, you know, there's lunches and then snacks and, you know, I've got two boys in the house. So this is the list. I have it broke down to, you know, we're going to have to get the two bags of uh, dog food at Walmart. And then these are the things I know for a fact that I need at Sam's Club. Um, and then this is either Walmart or Aldi or Sam's Club, depending on where it's cheaper. We always go to all three, usually when we go to chill coffee. So I usually just break out my phone and use my apps to see what's cheapest. Um, I should get in the habit of just doing pickups because then we're not wandering the halls. And maybe I'll try that next time I have actual money. Well... I can't try that just yet because everything's cash and you can't do pickup with cash. When I eventually get my uh, local bank opened, I will do that so that I can, um, you know, transfer the money into the checking account that it comes out of or pay the credit card that we use. I'll probably just use the credit card and then pay it off. Um, so I get the rewards and the credit builder, but as long as I pay it off right away, I won't pay the interest. So, um, and if my $200 doesn't cover everything we buy today, we do have some rollover money, but I kind of need to keep that 
because if his check is short next month or next payday, um, we're going to need that to get the bills paid and um, continue on with our debt paying off. Um, it's not a big deal if we can't continue on with the debt paying off. Um, you know, we can always push that down the line a few weeks if we have to because we have to eat. We can't go hungry, especially my children. Um, so that's everything. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to launch these today, maybe tomorrow um, on Etsy and uh, Shopify. I'm going to start working on my Shopify account so that I can put that up. I think it's going to garner more orders. I've only had one order on Etsy and um, I only made $1.50 off of it because of all the fees that I have to pay. Uh, I don't know what Shopify's fees are. So that's why I'm just testing them both out to see what happens. So um, I'll make a video when these launch. Um, other than that, I think that's it. You guys keep hustling. Um, you're doing fantastic. I'm getting better. Thank you for keeping me accountable. Make sure you like, um, comment, hit the bell, subscribe, do all the things. Um, check the description for all the links that I have for everything. Um, come join my groups on Facebook. I don't post a whole lot in the groups. I don't want to annoy people, but it's a good way to see what I sell, what I have, and so on and so forth. Um, I've got Instagram. I've got um, TikTok. I do all kinds of different things on each platform. So, yeah, follow me on everything and get to know me. I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe. Bye, guys.